Hello guys, today I bring you something you may have overlooked, and for those of you that have noticed it, you may have some questions about what this does or why it's here. And of course, we are talking about the Defender button, seen at the top left of the Netcut user interface. When toggled, it goes from red to green. Simple enough. Now, while there isn't any change to the device running or the device being affected by Netcut, there is still some stuff happening behind the scenes. So let's dive into what the switch actually does and if it would be useful for you to be using depending on what you are using Netcut for. The Defender switch has been around for years and years, dating back to the old version of Netcut that was an application and not a web-based user interface. It even saw its own application made in the software Netcut Defender, which is actually still available on the website. So why was the Defender switch even implemented into Netcut in the first place? Well, it's no secret that Netcut is able to affect any device on the same local LAN. Whether it's being used on your Xbox console for gaming purposes, or it's being used on your sister's iPad to throttle bandwidth. It's obvious that with a tool this powerful, it can be used to do more harm than good. It's obvious that Netcut uses ARP spoofing as well, as many other similar applications use. This allows Netcut to be able to intercept the desired device and have it rerouted through the PC so its connection can be altered. Many applications that implement this technology do so in the intent to cut the connection to others, whether it's someone wanting to troll others on the network, or just want all the bandwidth themselves. Many applications cut the connection completely using this method. Well, the Defender toggle was created to fend off ARP spoof attacks coming from other devices. Even from others using Netcut to do the attacks. Now, Netcut has an exception where it can detect Netcut Defender running on another machine, and not only does the attack get blocked, but also physically shows the sliders for speed control not moving. Now, where would Netcut Defender Switch be useful? Any public network, I would say, that someone may be using ARP spoofing to perform a man-in-the-middle attack. Or maybe you live with someone else that also has Netcut. It can defend from that as well. Now, if you're not on a network that somebody else may be using Netcut or any other ARP spoofing applications, then the switch may not have any use to you, especially if it's your own network where you are controlling everything. But hey, if you can find use in this, at least you know it's there now. And on that note, take care, and I'll see you guys again very soon.